What's up, guys? I'm Dax Holt. I am Alicia Renee. We are the hosts of Pod Sauce, your podcast discovery show. We got a good one for you today. Mm -hmm. I'm excited about it. I I feel like you you always come in with some really good true crime stuff. Man, let me tell you something. Imagine, if you will, you're at the family reunion minding your own business, but there's something about your father. Tell me more. That just gets in your crawl and you can't quite put your finger on it. <laughs> and, and you look at daddy and you say, daddy's put a couple bodies in the ground. What? That I've happened. never looked at my daddy and said that. What are you daddy's talking about? Daddy's put a couple bodies in the ground. <laughs> Now, The Clearing is the podcast that I'm speaking about. Now, it's hosted by Josh Dean. It is the story about when April Belasco, who at 40 years old, knew that there was something going on with her father that she couldn't quite put her finger on, only to discover that her father was a multiple murderer. Edward Wayne Edwards was arrested in 1980 for the double murderer of two teenagers, Tim Hack and Kelly Drew, after 30 years, though, after the murder actually occurred, imagine how challenging it must have been for April to turn her father in because he was only found because she was like, yo, y'all come get my daddy. He over here. <laughs> Killing people. He over here putting bodies in the ground. I wonder if they were her friends, too. Well, also, when... I don't want to give away too much of the podcast, but when he was caught... It was found out there's a few other people that he had to lay to rest. Okay, what what is the name of this again? Is that the way to put it? He laid them. He retired them he from reti living. Yes. He retired them from living involuntarily. Okay, what is the name of this? I, I said now I the am clearing. Like ready to write this down. I said the clearing. You know she me. had to clear another seat All at right. that dining right. room table because she was tired of looking at her murderous daddy. That could get him up out of here. If you want to check out the clearing, you can always head on over to podsauce.com. We will have links there directly for you so you can check it out. And don't forget to sign up for a newsletter. I think that is the easiest thing for people to do. We want you guys to be in the know as soon as we know what episodes are going to go up what pot sauce is out here doing in these streets so for sure like Zach said go to potsauce.com sign up for our newsletter and in the meantime do not go anywhere because we have more coming up this is pot sauce what's up everybody welcome back to pot sauce your podcast discovery show Dax what you got for me all right I got a pick for you which is funny because I thought I came across this pick in a very organic way and then Angie <gasps> called me out. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, but they had liked a post that we did and I was like, oh, let me check out this this podcast. Okay. You know, they liked it on Twitter or whatever. It's called the Tennis Podcast. The Tennis Podcast. Okay, talk to me. And apparently one of our guests had also mentioned it. So it's a good one. Like 10, like the number 10 is? 10. So they're covering top 10 lists, but they cover anything, any topic out there and break down the list. Mm. And they're kind of fun topics. So highest grossing films ever, worst US presidents, mm -hmm. deadliest animals, best selling video games, and they just do it all. I listened to the episode about the top 10 careers with the most psychopaths. Talk <laughs> to me. <laughs> Listen me. <laughs> I saw that, I was like, yep, yes, play, yes. play, play, play. Yes, please. <laughs> okay, so do you have just do you have any guess of what because that's what they do. They play games, one of them has the list, mm -hmm. the other one will guess what they're ranked as. Top ten careers with psychopaths? Yes. Lawyers. Number two. <laughs> that's yeah. why I quit law school. Yeah. Before you before <laughs> before you threw that okay. shit that I knew just, was coming my way. Okay, okay. I beat you to it. Um, doctors. Surgeons is on the list. See what I'm saying? I don't, I don't know all of them because I didn't write them all down. I'm just kind of going off memory. What did they say? CEO is number one. 1,000%. Uh, this one's funny. TV and radio, people in media. Keep in mind, it's we're, we're number TV. two is lawyer, number three is radio TV personalities. What are they trying to say? I'm just saying you might have some personality issues. Is, that <laughs> is, this, is this what we're doing today, Dax? Is this what we're doing? <laughs> no, I just, they were like, I was like, what? <laughs> what? You're like, that sounds like I'm me. I'm like, that sounds like me. She went to school for law? Seven is cops. Okay. And nine is a chef. Chefs. For a psychopath? Yeah. They, they've got over 150 episodes. Okay. They dive into, like I said, every category out there. They, tr mm -hmm. uh, they do trivia with each other. It's pretty funny. I, I truly enjoy it. So I think uh, if you want to check out my pick for this week, it's mm -hmm. called the tennis podcast. I think that's a dope pick because it also, like you said, allows you to uh, talk with whoever you're listening to it with or even just talk back because if you're like me, yep. you talk back to things. That's very psycho-ish. When <laughs> 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 I heard myself say it out loud, I was like, girl, <laughs> back that up. 
you guys go to podsauce.com where you can get more information on Zach's pick, Tennish. Tennish. Tennish podcast. All right, don't go anywhere, guys. We've got some more. This is Podsauce. Hey guys, welcome back to Pod Sauce. I'm Alicia Renee. And I'm Dax Holt. We are now joined by the hosts of The X Appeal, Julian and Jen. Hi guys. Hi. Hi. Thanks for having us on. No, I'm excited to have you guys here. Finally. We, I'm like, we have so many questions mm -hmm. lined up. We're really looking yes. forward to this conversation. Mm -hmm. I mean, for people that recognize your face, let's let's say it, a Jen you may also recognize her from Extra. Yes, mm -hmm. she's one of the correspondents, hosts of Extra. Right, I do the weekend show and then the we and then weekdays. I'm usually on the red carpet, but you know, lately it's been a little different. You've been busy. You're <laughs> and so congratulations! Busy. Thank yeah. you. Congratulations. So, <laughs> let's jump into this podcast, X Appeal. This, I mean, to describe this to someone who has not heard of it before, you guys are two exes mm -hmm. who yep. have now come together <laughs> to do a podcast, which is unusual to say the least, yeah. correct? Yeah. You go. Take it away. <laughs> uh, I mean, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's unusual, but you know, we, throughout when our relationship ended, we stayed friendly because we realized we actually respected each other and enjoyed each other on a like, human level. So we stayed friendly and then, you know, after that we started kind of like talking of each other's dating lives and then, <laughs> we realized that there was a lot of misunderstanding like you know jen would be dating someone and, and think that oh this guy said this this means this and i'd be like no as a guy if i say this it means that brutally right? honest okay. brutally <laughs> honest. you know yeah. uh and then you know it'd be like oh wow i never really thought about it and those discussion we ended up finding out that it's fun to have a male versus female point of view on one specific situation mm -hmm. so we just like I think it was one day we were on a rooftop at, yeah. at what, Starbucks or no? Uh, no, no, Restoration it was Hardware. Restoration Hardware. I'm like, what? Starbucks like, yeah. has a rooftop. Uh, I know, that's right, that's right. I was like, rooftop. no, it's not Starbucks, that's I not right. I need to go to that Starbucks. That doesn't Starbucks. sound right. And we, were, and, we were, and we were just talking about relationships, and I said, we should, we should do something with this. We should, you know, start a podcast or something. And it took a long time for us to get to, to that place do where... It. We yeah. were ready to do it. Yeah, it, it took like a few months and then I we... I think it was during COVID, actually, yeah, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah, was during it? COVID. We started in September of last year. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. That's why I think that it's so dope uh, just about the concept of your podcast because I am, I'm not friends with any of my exes. If I saw them on the street, I would kick them mm -hmm. or I would cross the other, you know, to the other side because uh, you just, it's very rare that you find that people are able to come back to this space where you guys mm -hmm. have seemed to find such a beautiful camaraderie between the two of you. How did you guys uh, find yourself in this space where you're like, no, we can do this and we can do it even with people having their questions in there. Are you sure you're mm -hmm. just friends? You know, I think it's I think it's Julian and I one day decided that we were better off as friends because of the longevity of it all. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. I think that yeah, sometimes hookups or or boyfriend girlfriend, you know, kind of relationships can be a little fleeting. But for us, I wanted I wanted you to stick around. Yeah. And maybe the magic wasn't there as it was before, but I still wanted you in my life That's because it. I respect your opinion and I valued you as a friend more than anything else. Exactly, and it was, I think it was, the, I mean, it was the same for me. We, you know, sometimes you, you get into a relationship with someone and then you realize, like, truly yeah. are better as yeah. friends. Mm -hmm. it's, yeah, it's not, you know, we're not, it's not necessarily working. It's nothing wrong. It's not like we don't like each other. It was just like, oh, yeah. But then it's true that it was like, oh, but having being able to still be in touch with a person because you generally enjoy them to to us that was important yeah that's beautiful. and how does your new man deal with <laughs> the, a working relationship with your ex so i think that's yeah. got to be a question that comes up yeah. is like is he jealous is he like no this is this is the homie julian oh <laughs> overall he's been pretty supportive you know because i'll talk about julian openly in in the house because we, we live together now obviously we're you know having a baby so I, I talk about him a lot and our working relationship, but in the beginning, it was a little awkward, you know, because he wasn't sure exactly where we stood. Mm -hmm. And I think it's awkward for anybody, any partner who has to see someone's ex come into the picture again in any capacity, uh, which, is, which is partially, and I'll be honest, which is kind of why we do our podcasts away from my, my home, mm -hmm. uh, because I just think it's weird talking about you know, sex and love and, and relationships with an ex 
when your new partner is around. Yeah. I think that, you know, out of respect for him, I, I just kind of like to keep it separate. So yeah. he doesn't Almost. listen to your podcast then? I told him not to. Like, that was the first <laughs> thing. Tune it out, babe. This yeah. is not for you. Uh, you know, you're going to hear some stuff, yeah. and you're going to see some stuff, and uh, it, it just makes for, I guess, unnecessary complications. Yeah. So break you know? down, for someone who may be new, a new listener to the X Appeal, break down the approach of the show, because, and, and how you guys avoid the, um, what's the word, the, the easy way of when you're talking about the dynamics of relationships and whatnot, how to make it, well, because you remember you did this, or, you know, and, and you did, how do you take away the personalization of it? Yeah, I, yeah, still. I mean, and that's just what I was going to say. It's like, our podcast is just, it's not about, yes, we're two exes, but it's we're not talking about our relationship. Mm -hmm. Now, I think what we're bringing up is like, we pick a specific topic that is highly debatable, especially between a man and a woman, and Jen and I debate it. And because we know each other, and because we've been intimate, and because we've done all this, I guess we can, it, it's easier to really dig a little bit deeper. Mm -hmm. so, so we'll take, um, you know, our first episode was how long do you wait uh, before you become rub intimate stomachs. with someone. Yes. Rub, rub stomachs. Yeah. <laughs> My girl. Oh, yeah, there you go. How, how long, how long do, you, do you wait for that, right? Mm -hmm. And then Jen has her opinion, and then I have my opinion, and then I can talk for, I want to say, most guys, and then she can talk for whatever most men, and then uh, was most women, and then uh, sometimes we'll bring an expert who will give mm -hmm. us actual data mm. to actually help support whatever we're talking about. That's good. So it's just mainly the male and female perspective, and you just happen to be exes more so. Yeah, but you know, we'll throw in some anecdotes here and there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, you don't remember when? No, no, no. no the, the last part. time we were out, you were looking down at your phone the whole time. <laughs> I the, do not recall remember. that whatsoever. <laughs> I, I was listening to your guys' latest episode, the uh, X Appeal 2.0. Yeah. Because yeah. you guys just, congrats on your new deal. They just signed thank a new you. deal with a yeah. new production Did company. Did they yeah. back up the brinks on y'all? <laughs> <laughs> Did they back it on up? Good for y'all. Well, you know, we won't sign that ink. I know that's right. Yeah, Here so for it. Congrats with the Hurt Ed deal. <laughs> but during that uh, that first discussion, you guys were talking about your her name, and you said her last name wrong, and it made me laugh so hard yeah. because you guys have clearly been together uh, yeah. as friends, you know, as <laughs> like, as and, the and partners. I've known you how many years now? No, it's this, years. But I said it you. right. I said Lammers. No, you didn't. Lammers. You Lam said Lammers. <laughs> Lammers. Yeah. <laughs> You have he to go back to I'm yeah. French. This I is said, how okay, what's Come my on. name? Julian. No, it's Julien. Oh, no. Oh, so you're saying it wrong. No, 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 there no, you no, go. No, no, Get into it. French on me. That's, it. That's not okay. So you're pronouncing it wrong. Okay. I pronounce with uh, exactly how it's written. I pronounce I still don't it. Know I just. If, you're, if just your pronounce. last name is really Marlon or if it's Simone. It's my middle name. <laughs> Marlon's my middle name. So much. Allow me to hi. I'm Jen. It's good to meet you. Julian. Marlon Simone. By the way, was this a joke? Have you picked out a name for your future child? Yes, I have. And is Julian in there? Because I didn't know if that was a joke. No. What? I feel like if I had never met Julian, then it maybe, maybe. <laughs> maybe the baby's name. Because yeah. I do think it's a solid name. It's but a, no, it's there's a too much name. trauma attached to it. There's true. Yeah. There's, yeah. <laughs> we don't want it to right. be triggered. It's so funny uh -huh. because I was asking D, because I know you guys are friends of Dean. I was like, is this real, this right here? Because I would have questions. This <laughs> and I was like, I'm pretty sure they talked all about that. <laughs> but I, don't, I think that was a joke. So what has been the one topic that you guys have chatted about on your podcast that has actually become awkward? Hmm. Oh, that's a good question. Is there one? I feel like you're so. Both of open us are kind of like yeah. everything's on the table, and yeah. you know I have to kind of watch sometimes what I say because of work. Mm -hmm. Fair. Uh, it can't it can't get too raunchy, and that's what and we we talked about this before we even started the podcast. You know I got, I have an entire company that's potentially looking at this and. You know, so there are, there are a few words that are off limits. Yeah. Has there ever been an episode or just where you guys discovered something new about one another that you just did not know? Because obviously since you're no longer together, your life is still moving forward in different directions. And you look right. at it, I'm like, I didn't think that about you. You know, yeah. I think I got a really a deeper insight on Julian's family life. Like, mm -hmm. I didn't know that his parents weren't married. Um, or they split like a long time ago uh, after they had you. And yeah. what kind of impact that that's had on... Yeah, on, on how life. I see my relationships. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And, and and same with uh, Jenna. I always get so mind blown by how open minded she is when it comes to relationships. Like she comes from a very more of a conservative type of um, really uh, family. Ohio. 
Ohio. Ohio. Ohio. And mm-hmm. the fact, and but she's so the opposite of a conservative. I want to say woman when it comes to relationship, right? She likes to have her space. She likes to be independent. She likes to make her own money. Um, he says I'm very European. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And to, yeah, no, honestly, to me, it's so European. Mm-hmm. You know, okay, like having a, a baby when you're not necessarily married, to, for us, it's like, yeah, it's normal. Mm-hmm. But a lot of times in the U.S., I've heard that discussion where it's like, wait, hold on. Are you, are you guys married? You, have a, you want to get married before you have a baby? I'm like, no. Mm-hmm. And we're like, how are you going to do it? Just, well, I'm just going to... I'm going to have a baby. Have a baby. Yeah, yeah. and take care of it. And, and, and see how it works out. Now, have you guys had any... Have you invited any other exes to join the podcast? That would be like, hilarious. Not, that's no, a very that's good a idea. Very join, you know, people that still maintain a friendship. Because I saw that was also an episode of maintaining friendships with people of the opposite sex. Right. And yeah. how that sometimes can be difficult on relationships. But I would That's be interested good. to see how other people handle it the as well. The month of October is I great because that could so just be too. a complete horror show. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you guys it's, already, that, it's already it's spooky season. 1,000%. Yeah. <laughs> you guys should nail that. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, okay. And if we to know see how any. people navigate it. I don't know of, any, of anyone who has maintained a really close relationship with oh, their yeah. ex. Yeah, I don't know. Let's ask Jennifer Aniston because she seems to be friends with literally <laughs> well, all of them. I'm sure friends. she's got plenty of time to yeah, stop on by a stop podcast. Yeah, we should stop by our, our little podcast. <laughs> yeah. bring, bring one of your exes, any of them. Just bring any of them. Bring yeah. one she of them. She can come over at my house yeah. and we'll, we'll, we'll shoot at my house, no problem. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure. Mm-hmm. Well, if you want to check out X Appeal, head on over to podsauce.com. We'll have a link there for you guys so you can check out X Appeal. And uh, it's it's a fun, different slant on relationship yeah. advice and discussions. And I really like it. We recommend it. I like the approach. I like the personal accountability. And I also like, now you know, we dated not even that long ago. <laughs> what you're exactly. saying doesn't match up, but <laughs> that's right. That's knock right. it off. We have all the receipts. Actually, yeah. you know, when we there's one episode I think we talk about sex, and that we kind of talk about how it went for all. For, I would say that was yeah, a little bit might, like. Uh, that might have been the, the cringiest. The cringiest in the but sense. The cringy of like, is good. As, you know, Cringy, li- as a listener, you're just like, oh, you're like, what are you going to say next? Answer. As a listener, they're popping popcorn. <laughs> yes, yes. As a listener, they are all popping about. popcorn. So on the next episode, do your biggest pet peeves about each other. And then oh. everyone oh. will be oh. already yeah, one. I mean, why am I not a producer on this show? Julie, I mean, come on. You don't want to say, I already got one. So yeah. I'm holding on to it. I won. Waiting for my time to shine. <laughs> Thank you for that one. Oh, you want to back that up, buddy. <laughs> guys, go to podsauce.com where you can get more on Exit Pill. Jen and Julian, thank you guys so much thank for joining us. Thank you guys for, for having us. us. Yeah. Don't you guys go anywhere. We have more. This is Pod Sauce. Welcome back, guys. I'm Alicia Renee. And I'm Dax Holt. And it is that time of the day. What time is it? Because we can't end a show without getting an Alicia pick. You better get into it, Dax. So, Alicia's pick. Let's hear it. Have you ever been in a car with a know-it-all? Yes. And you just want to knock them into teethesis? Oh, yes. Or, you know, just you're having conversations with people and something that they're saying doesn't ring true because you know better. Is that weird that I can actually see someone in my mind that I'm thinking as you're saying all of this? We're gonna talk on the commercial break. (laughs) I wanna know that person. I wanna know what you're hiding over there. But Stuff You Should Know is the podcast for you if you find yourself in spaces where you want to know a little something about everything. Mm -hmm. This podcast runs the gamut. Now, they've got over 1,800, 1,800 episodes already in the can. Everything from champagne, of course, the origination of it, Satanism, if you're in that kind of stuff. Nope. If you want to know about the Stonewall Uprising, the theory of LSD. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, this podcast literally runs the gamut. And that's what I like about it. I'm one of those people that wants to know a little something about everything. Mm -hmm. And they just truly break it down, but they break it down in a way that's really portable for the everyday person and it doesn't feel like it's over your head. So you're wanting to be the person I think about when I'm like, that person knows everything. I, I think that there's a beauty in knowing a little something about everything, right? So when you get invited to those dinners, you can actually participate in the conversation. And if you find yourself being one of those people, Stuff You Should Know is your podcast. It right. literally covers the gamut. No, I, I, honestly, good pick. You mean it? I mean it. Say it's it with your one. chest. Say it to the camera I, okay. and say it again. I said it to you. We don't have to start repeating it to everyone else that I think you get a point. Okay, let's... 
take it down a notch <laughs> leash. Uh, no, but I, I think that is a good pick because I include it. I like to know a little bit about a lot of things. Yeah. Because then you can participate in those conversations. I hate small talk. Yeah. And this is the kind of stuff that helps during small talk. It, thank you. That's an even better way to put it. It really helps get you over small talk. Yep. Mm -hmm. Awesome. All right. Stuff you should know. Stuff you should know. And uh, listen, we got a lot of recommendations on the, the website. If you've never been to podsauce.com, check it out. And make sure you follow us on social media. It's super easy. It's The Pod Sauce. You can find us on IG, Facebook. YouTube, where there is a visual version of this show, if you're just happening to be listening to us you right now. You want to get into what we're given visually. Like these socks. <laughs> like and these that toes. Sweater. This five point. Oh, we are matching. Look at did that. Did you notice that? I did. Oh, happy socks. Happy socks. Did they cut you a check? Not on this one. Put your foot down. <laughs> Put your foot down. Okay, I got your back. <laughs> You I got. Put your foot down. <laughs> oh, guys, you can find me on social media at Dax Holt. And I am at I am Alicia Renee. Until next time, thank you all so much for joining us on our various platforms. In the meantime, be good to yourself.